That guy kind of looks like every character I make in every RPG, so I'm already feeling pretty good. Anyway, again, thank you to Don't Nod and to Focus Entertainment for sponsoring this Banisher stream. Uh, if you would like to learn more information down below, click that link, go nuts. Uh, I'm doing a dare drop today, which I is a totally new experience for me. I do not quite know what I'm getting into, but basically I've got a bunch of little dares and things I can do. One of them is as easy as when I'm done streaming, send you to another person who is streaming banishers. And then apparently people will get codes to banishers. I don't know how many people, I don't know. It just says viewers will. How many viewers? I have no clue. We'll figure it out together. Hopefully you'll get some free stuff out of this. Hopefully my victories will be your victories, baby. I shot you with victories. The American way. All right. Let's do this thing. Story, easy. For players who wish to enjoy balance of story, hard, very hard. Let's go right down the middle. Although that's very sweet. They're like, I love you, baby. This is like, well, three's a crowd. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. I love his hand tattoo. Love it. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night, Pete. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. 
There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Oh, it's about to get that kind of thing. Okay. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Hell yes. I am vibing with this. Okay. We got a little zoop zap zibbity zoo. Moving around. That's what you do. Okay. And then a little camera movement. And the top map. I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Oh, uh, is that the boat we came from in the distance? You know I gotta look around. I don't know if there's loot to be looted. I don't know. I don't know what kind of game we're getting into, but uh, we'll see. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Interesting. <laughs> Question. So it's, it's no matter what, it's just W Neef. Right, okay. <laughs> Bless I think you. We can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. I cannot thank you enough, Don't Nod, for this little... Oh, there's the loot right there! Just made my day so much, much easier. Um, Antea. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. I'm not going that way, but maybe. I can break my way through here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay. 
All right, then. Also, what a very convenient torch. lighting these torches. Also, is that my sweet bow up there? It looks like it in the distance. I'm coming, hun. Don't worry. Oh, no. I can't jump that. Or I won't try to jump that. Guess I'll go this way. Through the water? I feel like it wants me to jump this. Also, yo, did you hear that noise? Ghosts! Spooky, spooky ghosts! I could beat you in my sleep. Yo, they come out the woodwork, actually, or the wall work. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these this spectres is watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? This is normal for us, I suppose. This is why we were called here. It's to slash at ghosts. Yeah, that checks out. What these, these? What these, these? Leather. You okay? So it's really, really obvious when it's something you can loot. I'm assuming. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, more wanderers. Why not? Get him, babe. You got this. Behind you. Okay, yeah. then. It's easy as falling off a box. We're just too good at this. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Yeah, this doesn't bode well. Uh oh. When the banish gauge is full, press E to banish a target. Time to leave for good. Yeah? This is already my type of game. I can even get notes to read? Oh, yeah. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date, I cannot say. I know it is the month of June, the year 1695. I thought we would be safe in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again. The golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. Acting. Great, love that. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Yeah. Ooh, what is that? More leather. Nice. These fools think they can hide things from me in boxes? Uh, I shall loot them. What is that? Spectral dust. Oh, is this the wife who died? Her purse is mine. 
Or is this the wife who died? Did he have two wives? Well. <laughs> he died as he lived. With both his wives. Alpha. All right. More spectral dust. I did take a hit because I pressed the wrong button. For some reason, I keep thinking that uh, even though this is the charge attack, I keep thinking it's the block when this is block. But here we are. Can I light this? Question. With the awesome power of... No. Okay. That all goes badly for the case. Oh, hey, Situation's dude. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Not a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? Question. Hold on. Historical Jesse needs to know when I need an answer. <clears throat> selectmen. A select board or board of selectmen is commonly the executive arm of government in New England towns in the United States. Bing bong. There we go. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Hey, babe, should we follow the rats? Do you think they... Who the hell bums their own crops? People who fear pestilence or disease. Or both. Well, I'm very biblical. Hey, babe, I'm gonna look over here, okay? Ooh, hello. Nice. You got any Ringus down there? Nope, they bricked that up. Cause the Ringus. Susanna. Oh wait, this is Sarah. Susanna. <laughs> it's been days since we ate. We each day the town empties further. Folk would sooner risk the cold than stay. The minister said help was on the way, but I do not know how much time we have left, or how much time before the next sickness takes us all. I shall entrust my neighbor with this letter in the hopes that it will reach you. If nothing changes, I shall try to cross the woods myself. I hear folk assemble bands. The better to safely brave the wilderness. May God help us all, Sarah. She dead. People are leaving. The town is emptying. Stay on your guard. Can I explore this singular house first? Uh-oh. Boston, Fort Jericho, Harrow's Hamlet. We should just go to Boston. Get out of here. Go to Boston. Nope. All right. So we're not getting in this building. Hey, what about this? What if... So the road to Boston's blocked. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. They bummed up crops and ran out of food. And they probably eat the horses. High right. Okay. So I'm assuming there's some sort of crafting system for all the loot I'm getting. Ringu? Nope, bricked up. <laughs> there's no way she's getting out of those wells.
committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. So everything seems to be kind of, you can't get in at the moment. It's sort of pushing me towards. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you have lectured on the sanctity of marriage? Uh... <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. Is this a dude snooping, or is this like a friend? Hello? Area of investigation. You have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass now indicates that you are inside an area of investigation. Look for the inn. Who the hell's that? Knock, knock. <coughs> no. <laughs> They're burning me house down, they is! Sorry, babe. So the glow, so there's, they are, there are people here. They're just not dealing with me people. They're like, mm, nah, go back inside, dear. All right, to the cemetery, the inn, the inn's where we wanna go. I'm trying to understand the area of investigation. It's just, you're in it, and I go to the inn, and the inn's this way. Right, okay, okay. This must be the inn. I'm very good at investigating. Some say the best. Ooh, was that a note or something? Or was that just... It was something. Here's the question. Uh, uh, baby, you're in the way. Um, Is this a I should be exploring in advance kind of situation? Or is this a... Oh boy. The path to the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. Great. Curfew. In hours of darkness, stay in your homes. No discord, no turmoil. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. I wouldn't go... I wouldn't... I wouldn't go that far. I feel like... Those monsters on the way in are more than enough. The cemetery is closed. No more dying, okay? Stay off Discord. Oop. No more dying. Zoom calls will be fine. Well, okay, we'll probably get some sort of way of determining what's going on here in a minute. To the end. No reason to snoop around more. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume... Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. 
You lot do what you want. I intend living. Oh, she's super dead. <laughs> the esteemed select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you and your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, yous may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Are we going to talk to the dead, I assume? Because the voiceover at the beginning was the priest, right? And he was like, oh, I shouldn't have invited them here. So is he kind of like, I'm ethereally watching you at the moment, right? Anyway. Uh, yeah. What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Right. Okay. So this is like the thing. So let's do this. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. 
And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Oh, interesting. So the top... I'm still trying to figure out how the conversation... Well, maybe it'll let me go back. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how conversations work with this. Let's do this. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. Okay, so then it looped me back. All right. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty... <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. Okay, I guess that's that. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Come on, baby, let's go. Can I explore this inn? Hello, what we have here? As announced at the town, uh, last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectmen. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms, God bless. <laughs> Charity Kroget. That is the most 17th century name I've ever heard. Charity Kroget. Of the new eating crockets. Locked, eh? Double locked, eh? Uh oh, that's not locked. Pieces of eight? Yeah? Okay. I know we're all thinking pirate curse, right? Pirate curse. And I'll do one of those things with my with a coin on my fingers like Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Uh, is there anything else he has to say? Governor. How may I be of service to you? Probably not, but I figured, all right. I'll go now. I'll still be here if you need me. Out we go. What? Was that a no? That was just can. Twas candlelight. It was. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, 
Another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. I'm not gonna be mean for the sake of being mean. Also, suddenly there are people outside. Get out of here! This place is crazy! What are you doing? I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. She's a ghost. We should take her out. Or do they come out because they're interested? They're like, mm, well, oh, never mind this guy. Sir? So, you've done listening to Fairfax's prattling. That man turns a pretty phrase and does so to the exclusion of all else. Uh, let's do this. Tell me, Captain, what does your rank signify? Militia? I maintain the train band. I also anticipate threat. Natives, brigands, the French and other oh, monsters. the French! The curse, though, that's a whole different kettle of shite. Not even poor Davenport saw that one coming. About the curse, do you think it's related to the French? Any thoughts on the origins of the curse? None useful. I'm a military man. I'm no dark artist. I'll take that as a gentle jab. You don't believe in my work. I can tell you're a woman of talent and capability. I respect that. The rest of it, that's your remit, not mine. Me? I'm the old guard. You and your Scots green on you're the hope. You'd best prevail. Okay. I will try. We'll be back. I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Yeah, unless I'm a ghost. We okay. should go to Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. Right, right, right. But I'm also gonna... There's a person walking down here. What was their vibe? Old, old walkie. Oh, there you are. What's up? Don't talk to me. I'm going inside. Oh, there's no oh, your trouble you are. Oh, don't be talking to me. Okay, bye. Can I jump this? Ugh. No. Oh, hello. Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. <laughs> Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. Pew Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? They put a man named Hugh Bachelor in charge of children. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. Do I detect a note of disapproval, Mr. Bachelor? I was hoping for a warmer welcome. No, not as such, no. I don't doubt your honesty, nor your will to fight the devil. But, as an honest man of great faith, I must remind you that what we need is prayer. I can tell, because he's what got the pilgrim. What we always need is prayer. Ah, oh, this is the pray it away guy. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right. Right. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Good luck, then, to the both of you. Can I go inside the... No? Not yet. Interest. Uh oh, what is this? This part of town is closed by the governor's decree. Okay, damn, all right. Hmm. 
keep the adventure adventuring. I'm sorry, you see, what was that guy doing? Checking my socks, I am. My big long stockings. There are the rats. Rats, what secrets are you gonna tell us? Uh, bro? Hello, sir? Just reading me Bible, swaying back and forth, I am. Great. That's the door. That guy right there discovered MS Paint. That is such a well done doomsday has come. <laughs> that guy is ahead of the times. Oh, uh, is that spooky music the don't go this way music? The little shift in music is, uh, it's scary up here. Uh-oh. Hey, don't go this way. Love the gov. I'm assuming this is also a don't go this way. All right, at least I'm penned in. I'm fine with that, actually. Right, okay. It limits my searching for sweet loots. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah! 18 pieces of eight. What am I gonna buy? What is... Where are we going in this game? What is hap What is gonna happen? That was snow. That was glistening. That's that guy. That's that guy. There's that. Red! Hey, Red! Come here. Take a photo of me. I'm gonna get inside this thing. Oh, no! Don't throw tomatoes at me! Um, can I go in? No, I cannot. Thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? I like your little, like, little up down eye look thing there. Uh, do you intend to leave? Sure. I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right, I do. New Eden is dying, and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. Mm, you're leaving alone? Actually, there's no hope at all? There's no hope for New Eden, then? Not till the weather changes, and it don't look like changing. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too, if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick as you can get it home. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it. So what'll be the use? Yeah, what's the use of a ghost, stupid ghost? Ghosts are pure socialists. So, the curse. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad. And I know we found the Reverend dead. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clatwagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. But the captain does. This woman has the best vocabulary out of anyone. I'm going to say in all the, the 1600s. And definitely 2024. Well then, thank you for your help. 
Aye. So I can't go in her home. And I don't think I should be stealing from her. This right here is a nothing, so down we go. Oh. The creepy strings are back. Speaking of, hello. It's a pirate. I'm gonna make like uh, what, what? What am I gonna? Make? I don't know what I'd make out of pyrite. Oh, is this the lady again? Oh, wait, hold on. You'll be the banishers then. Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGrath. Of course, I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Oh, Saints preserve us. I've come to ask you about lucky charms. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. Hmm, someone always does. Someone always does. I understand banishers often trade with the forces of evil. We do not trade. We deliver. A haunting may be caused by the errors of the living, but a ghost gets no mercy. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. So you just, this is the bravest woman in the city. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. All right. You may have your time back with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Every woman in this game is sassy as shit, and I am here for it. Okay, so this is a definite we can go in. What's the vibe over here? Another down by the docks. We could go in over there. What's this situation like? Their note that's probably like the governor says the docks is closed no food here all right i mean that's hello that's what i was looking for oh uh you saw nothing sir Down to, we could actually go down to the docks? Maybe that's not the best choice right now. But I wanna. Lord knows I wanna. Alright, so that's blocked off. That guy's like... Someone has to chop the dang wood! It's freezing cold in there! Bro, you have so much wood. Well, it's the 1600s. It passes the time, I guess. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Antea, Red. <sighs> Come in. 
Wait, she has awesome bracelets and he has a cool hand tattoo? They're just way cooler than me, and it's upsetting. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... These dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Still trying to figure out why he's the narrator and how he fits in. Also, there were three people on the difficulty selector. So, like, we got a ghost bud? How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. I am, uh, when we go back and we see her face again, the scarring? I don't know what it will, it's like some sort of magic scar because her hair's kind of white right here where the scar hits. I'm here for it. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. Interesting. Could he be the, the one who brought the curse about? Add him to the list. I don't know that it's true, but interesting. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. Yeah? You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Uh, tab. Oh, what the ding-dongs? Haunting cases. Deeply distressed. Intent not obtained. Hint. To rest your investigation. Right, right, right. Okay. What? All right. Okay, here we are. This is interesting. No hint obtained for Charles. Huh. 
haunting cases. This is this is. Although the path held uh, surprises and many bad omens, Red and Antea um, at last reached New Eden Town and set out in search of their friend, Reverend Charles Davenport. Fairfax Haskell, governor of New Eden, was like, hey, he had to instead. And so we went to go visit Esther, the widow, and uh, she was like, yeah, he's still in the house, man. Great. Investigate the study, investigate the bedroom. Can do. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. I've unlocked my first hint. Right, right, right. Deeply distressed. What is this? A new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Pers- <laughs> Why am I doing this? Scotch? Tune G major Henry Purcell. Is this a real thing? Stop. Stop. That's li it's literally what it is. Crazy, crazy, love it. Purcell, could you find nothing better? <laughs> These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune, but you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. <laughs> Roasted. What is this? Wait, Tab took me to a map now? Oh, 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 beep, bop. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is where we came in. This was blocked. And this is where we're at now. Fascinating. How big of a world are we, do you think? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm assuming this is the rest of the map over there. <laughs> well, all right. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It's always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I've contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately, we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomenon perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. Uh, I can give you no better answer, be it sorcery, the presence of an ichor, ichor uh, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll uh, has so little presence in the New World. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. So this has been going on for... Nine months? At least, at least nine months. At least eight, eight nine, ten months. At least. Well, it has to be more than that because he had we'd had to send the letter. If he if this was returned, how long did it take the crossing? The cro it was it was a while. Between England and the Americas, it took a while. So he would have to write the letter, send the letter, get the letter delivered, have the letter written, then sent back. That would take so long. So this is at least at least a year and a half minimum they've had this issue. So I can understand why. Uh, so it's been a while. It's been a while since they they've been they've been ghosting. Crazy. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The Saint Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Okay. So according to. 
Uh, chat, 66 days? Well, I guess that's according to chat, according to Google. 66 days. Good. Good sleuthing. Good sleuthing. I appreciate that. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. We don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For old time's sake? Of course. Sadness in Interval, or a study of the Aeolian Scale by Heinrich Petrie. Man loved his music. A study of H. Purcell's Chicani in G major for Chicani by E. Davenport. So he was also, the, like, okay. So that was that was you, Esther. I'm sorry to trouble you once Esther more. was writing that? How may I help? We'll keep looking around, if that's all right. I was going to ask you about your I'll book, but okay. You stuff on the table. That's good. This is the stuff we just saw. There is a suspicious number of chess boards. Do you think it was like... Socks and ties. What do you get in for Father's Day? Another chess board. Master, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. Letter from a neighbor. At the time, that was actually a person. Alfred this is Aloysius Charles's. Neighbor. It's like he never left. Okay, we're not going that way. We did all this. Let's take a look. My sweet Esther. Wow, this is a whiles ago. Oh, this, okay. I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the uh, mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that. But I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away uh, from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, even when I can see the pride for, oh. For when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know that I can do anything as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. So is this to assume that we met while he was doing this in 1687? That's how he knows us? Sixteen eighty five. How I longed to hold you in my arms, the announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate, a sweet of which I cannot tire. At last we shall be together, and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I promise. If I die, I shall haunt the shit out of you. It might depress you, but I will never leave your side. I'll play the piano at night. It'll get wild. Anyway, I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. And here everyone thought that dating online was, was new and different. It's pretty much what they were doing back then. They'd write letters back and forth. Be like, look, we should hang out sometime. Like, yeah, yeah, we definitely should. All right, see you in eight months. <laughs> Here you go. And then they got married and they end up like, oh, we can actually hang out together? Awesome. Uh -huh. 
1694, my sweet Esther. I was down, and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet, I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land. You knew well that things are not as they should be in New Eden. And I am sorry uh, to have you by my side, for I fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land, there to raise our children, but I fear a curse. I think we should leave, or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, for I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. Charles. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. Right. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Okay, so when he lived in London with her, that's when they were going back and forth to Scotland, so it wasn't like too crazy. She wasn't here in um, the Americas. And then they moved here together in the, in the 1690s is what it looks like. Are you hungry, dear? You must be starving after such a long trip. I thought we'd said we'd have dinner tomorrow. It's no trouble. Save your provisions, Esther. I'm all right, really. Rory McGraith isn't hungry. Truly, doomsday is upon us. All right, up we go. You know what? I'm gonna say Charles it. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Anyway, I want to say it. Downstairs, beautiful. Upstairs, clearly the place guests don't visit. <laughs> they just threw... Oh, actually, you know what? This place is pretty great. Okay. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. Oh, do you think he was in league with the beast? Never mind. Unless the beast loved to play. You know what? All the chess stuff starting to make sense now. The Red King? Some sort of Crimson King? That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Is there anything to actually click on on here that would be of interest? Besides the old school map, which I am absolutely here for. Is there anything? Huh. Shout out to Canada <laughs> for kind of existing. <laughs> Shout out to old kind of existing Canada. Hmm. I'm trying to see Mexicana is there. Hmm. Hmm. But there doesn't appear to be anything of note on here. I can't like pull a page or anything. What is that? Oceanus Tartatus? Tart sure, yep. Maps. I love old maps. It's like them trying to figure stuff out. They clearly couldn't visit the entire interior of many continents, right? They were along the coast, so they just kind of made it up as they went along. It's good stuff. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss.
theological book from Charles' personal collection. Fortalitium of... Oh, boy. What kind of weird... You know, they, you know they don't put stuff in games without it meaning something. Hold on. Fortalitium... Fide. All you need to know is the first thing that popped up was... It is the Digital Witchcraft Collection. This, it is, translates to Fortress of Faith. Ho ho ho! Okay, well, the more you know. Uh, the first paragraph in a review is, Fortalitum Fide is a rapidly anti-Semitic work attributed to Alphonse de Espena. Uh... Though written in 1457 and first printed in Strasbourg circa 1470, the author continued to make additions. Da, 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 da. The work is a collection of arguments prepared for use by preachers against detractors of Christianity. Divided into five parts, each part targets a specific adversary. Wow. Yep. Okay. Book book one is an intro. Book two is to counter heretics. Book three is to counter Jews. Book four is to counter Muslims. And book five, to counter demons. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, there you go. Now, there you go. That's a real ass thing that existed. Well, got to look this one up too. Formicarious, huh? You know this is going to be good. Form a carry. Form i. With an I. Form i. Carious. Talk to me. What is this? Okay, this is written in 1436 to 1438. It is the second book ever printed discuss discussing witchcraft. The first book, the first book being the previous book we just saw. Interesting. So this man was, he was definitely like, there's be, there be witches. None on this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll. And what strangeness I have found, or have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word out loud, but I suspect there to be witches. And if I find one, I shall very much like to ask for her story. Oh boy. Well, I'm about to find out this is like book three in the many books about witches. Okay. Todd Fuhrer, the Toten. What is the Toten? I know die is the. It means, hold on, it means the dead to death? Or the dead should belong to the dead? Uh-huh. And uh, what's 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 that about? What's that about? Um, the narrator argues that grief for the dead should be treated wisely, so it does not take the grieving as hostages forever. It is natural to grieve for the dead, but one must step away from the grief for prolonged stretches of time too, so that one can actually notice that the grief has become smaller, so it can eventually be cast off and no longer negatively influence the living. Okay. Should I use that against this guy? Like, hey, bro, <laughs> leave her alone. Scribbled Bible verses. Uh, okay, yep. John 3.16. You know what sucks? I meant to say Austin 3.16, but it just came out John, and I'm let down by my own joke. I re-unjoked my own joke. I pre-unjoked it. I don't even know how it's possible. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> I pre-jerked my joke. 
Yeah, I, sub I subverted my own subversion. <laughs> anyway. When I say my bed shall confront me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrify terrifiest me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Interesting. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. By the way, Job's whole story, that was pretty cut and, like, that wasn't some sort of complicated religious thing, right? The whole Job story was, like, he was fine, right? Right? It, everything worked out great for him, right? I feel like, I feel like he's all right. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdue, perdure, perdure? They throw in old ass words at me perdure it's in it's indoor but it's perdure <laughs> interesting it's just it's just indoor but it's ye olden way of saying it great so someone's coming These to him in a vision erratic ramblings charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers dreams how malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Right, okay. So, strange visions and a woman is appearing to him. Perhaps a witch or he thought was a witch at least. We've reviewed everything else though, I think, right? Where do nightmares come from? Yo, so he was getting visions. I remember the teachings of my masters, may God bless their souls, against the threatening unknown when the common knowledge is not enough to understand a situation. The sagacious and pious man will wisely turn to the very roots of his art, the words, their meaning, and the power hidden in each of them. A nightmare has nothing to do with the nocturnal, nocturnal female horse as in the French Cauchemar or German Nachtemar. Mare, here comes from 12th century Middle Dutch and means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. This feels... This feels a lot like when you read people on forums these days who are like, actually, what that word means. And you're like, hmm. Hmm. Does it... Are you reading too much into this? Is that... It feels like an episode of Scary Game Squad, I'll be honest. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception, and make them endure their worst fear. Able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating tantalizing and personalized nightmare its victims can't hope to escape from. Such a petrifying concept. I pray God with all my heart and soul that this is not what has risen upon us. How would we then escape despair, death, and doom? I need more information, but where to find them? Does he have a date on this? Do you think this was why he went to the New World? Also, if 
nightmares were a thing and there was just a demon who like gave you the same terrible nightmare over and over again, it would explain and be so much easier to explain any weird nightmare that I've had multiple times in a row. A few years back for like, uh, I don't know, like over the course of two years, every so often I'd have the exact same crazy nightmare and eventually just went away. But it, I had it so often that I can remember a large chunks of it. And I'll let you know, it would be so much easier to just be like, Demon did that, rather than, what was going on in my brain at the time? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what was I thinking? Because I have no answers for you. Demon, much simpler. Yeah, I had bad ghosts in my blood. That would have made it easier. Silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport, engraved with a distinctive three-hilted sword. Three-hilted sword? <laughs> I heard you like crosses on your crosses and on those crosses as well. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Got enough books, Charles. <laughs> See, the piano is not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. Was that a thing under there? Nope, that's just light. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Lo, y'all, lo. Three drops of lavender oil in chamomile infusion before sleep. Wintergreen to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. If restlessness persists, use lemon balm. <laughs> Evelyn, who definitely was going to have this dude put leeches on at some point. Have you ever thought about leeches, sir? Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Kind of it in here, huh? All right. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it's supposed to. I could not attend the burial. Shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us, and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles' burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Hmm... Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. Is that the... Yeah, I could have made him manifest. Now... Hold on! Right, she suffers from that. Gotcha, gotcha. But what, what suffers thee, Charles? That we know why he might be back. We should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Gotcha. What you looking at? You know you don't have time for art. We kill ghosts, okay? That is our art. Ghost murder. Anything else before we peace? Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Ah. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. 
Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Interesting. I wonder if her... I'm, I'm, I'm digging into my uh, Rolodex. Rolodex? For the seven of you who get that reference, uh, I'm digging through my Rolodex of uh, tropes, and I'm and I and I am like, <laughs> I just looked over at chat. People were like, "Wow, wow!" <laughs> if I use my Dewey Decimal System and look back through the tropes that I know. I wonder if maybe her emotions and her guilt is also fueling this in some way. I don't know. I don't know. Like if it's making it worse, maybe that's the whole point. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just call him up, call up the ghost, like. Hello, ghost? That long joke was brought to you by being old. Shout out to my 80s babies. Shout out to my fellow 80s babies. We all we all remember there, there was a time where there used things were very different. <laughs> we'll be back. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Will you be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shao. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Hi. You too. We're splitting the party? Ah, that doesn't seem wise. Also... During that scene, for some reason in my mind, I was like, Hello? <laughs> Ghost 547? Patch me through, please. At least I didn't do looking for a ghost. Stop. <laughs> please respond. Stop. Sincere. Oh. Highlight. So here's the question. Could I go down? There's a whole area behind this house that feels like perhaps I'm going to go this way and this way into here and end up back here and come through to here. I have no clue. Yeah. Got to contact the ghost switchboard. Hello, ghost 357? Patching you through. 
That's that's very old. Even even for me. Ah, so this is the taking that. So wait, where? I keep pressing map like somehow that's gonna Okay, so that's where I need to go, but there's a whole area behind me. Hello. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. I realize that man has a whistle around his neck, but like an old timey whistle? Mm, what I need is information. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too, so much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do, waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. This man is like, this close to Matt Berry. Like, almost there. Just enunciate the wrong syllables. It's basically Matt Berry. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. So it's she a never she. speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. Or presents. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> I wonder if this witch is actually one of those, you know, like, it's a good guy watching, seeing what's going on. I don't know. I have no idea where we're going with this. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive, by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Yo. I don't know if we need to rewind the footage, but I swear to God, I keep seeing something white flashing behind this man. Way in the distance. And I don't know if that's just a specter or a ghoul or something. There's something back there that's like, it's creeping me out. Care to trade? Most of my goods oh, are it? already packed, but I never refuse a deal. I pointed at the screen like any of you could see me point at the screen. 
So I can buy leather, fur, linen, or wool. And I can sell all these things. But why would I... Why would I want to buy these things? Would it make him like me more? So wait, four, is it? Ah, price per unit is four. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. I don't know that I, I have 26 leather. Should I just buy some stuff to say I bought it? Like, yeah, sure. And like, yeah, sure. And like, yeah, sure. Okay, like that? I don't know, man. Cool, all right. Good luck to you, pal. I bid you good day, Squire Paris. And thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Before I go towards the Will Wisp, can I go back this way? That's where I came from. This is what I'm gonna burst open. This Shoot fire out. can't have started on its own. Not in this cold. Is there a thing back there? Oh, hello. New Eden Town Harbor Dockage, March 1694. Blossom of London. On the 14th was Blessing, Mary, Pilgrim, Adventure of Boston, Seaflower, Two Sisters, White Rock of Boston, Dove, Samson, John's Adventure, Blessing, Bristol Merchant, Tebel Crown, Apollo, Greenway, Hope, and uh, then it got bad. Ironic that the hope was the last thing to show up. Almost like some writer wrote that. Right, so the idea is that a... Whatever caused this fire... is probably of magical sort. And I can't get down there unless I go over... Can't get down there at all, it looks like. Yeah, so what I'm learning is that the pathing is the pathing is the pathing. Roger, gotcha. So in theory, I couldn't get down there at all, ever. Well, maybe, maybe that's a lie. Nope, it's, that's the truth. More leather. And a nice old treasure chest. Filled with cups and trash. Ooh, 37 pieces of eight. That's what I'm here for. And I can't, oh, I can go down this way. Okay. But I cannot make it across to any of those. It's just not happening. Because again, the pathing is the... Well, you know, the pathing is the pathing until it's not. <laughs> until it's not. Okay, here we go. The cemetery, which is off limits. Oh man, I've been waiting to press this E. Some ghost is about to get blasted. Uh, wait a minute. There he is. Yeah, what's going on, little guy? A wisp. So close to town. He guided me? Oh, is it the Reverend? Cemetery closed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not anymore. Where are you leading me? I'm okay with this. 
son of a... You know what? This guy's gonna get blasted. Yo, get smoked! More of you? Alright. Yo, there we go! Anyone else? I was I was trying not to block. If I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to kill them before I'd have to block attacks. <laughs> Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Can I look at the other tombstones? Or just that one? Some sort of corpse flower situation. Winter green. I got a down, I got an up. What is the up? Oh, we are really just going back to... So the up leads me to back to the homes. The down is down. Uh, my hands are glowing something fierce. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Okay. I like that. Does it get more bright as I find the source? I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Hello? Many dead in more recent years. There are many, many graves. And shrooms. Hoof fungus? Nice. So I'm assuming because my uh, fingers stopped glowing that I went the wrong way. But here's the thing. It's fine. Oh, nope, we found him. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. All right. So we need to find where Charles died, not where he's buried. So I can go down this way and come back up, huh? Maybe that's what I'll do. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do. This is like a little tiny down area, so we'll come here. I'd be a fool to go in that frozen water. Good job, game. I mean, me. Figuring that out. Okay, I like that. Leather is leather. I cannot climb this to save my life. Right. So on the map, when there's like a uh, wall there, there's a wall there. Okay. Them's the rules. And glowy fingers. Activate. There we go. Okay. So it's clearly somewhere in this area, but it's not. Well, maybe it's over here. What is this? That's the back way. That's the down. That is this area right here where I just was. And then there's the path that leads to the house, so we're definitely just going this way. Unless the house path is where it's at. Well, let's see. Right, so that's not it. And this is down. That's a far jump down to where I was. I'm not that stupid. 
And I can't go that way, huh? That's probably going to unlock at some point? Alright, up we go. Oh, the wisp was showing me. Hello, rats. Is that just a book on the ground? A book I can't use yet, huh? Alright, story of my life. Alright, let's do this then. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal we it. We are gonna talk to him. Let's go, ritual. That's what the pyrite and the oh well, here we are. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of these sites determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you select an incorrect ritual. Oh, oh, okay. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Harkening equals memories. Gotcha. What I picked up earlier should suffice. In each stain hides a story. That camera angle is really cool. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Damn, she forced got him. Oh, is he going to crawl away to where that book is over there? Yarp. Whoa, what? a spear at that man. Right. Okay, let's see what the deal is. Charles's is Bible. Found half buried in the mud at the cemetery. It's open to Job. Or this is what we saw in the in the house. Right. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performed by Antia, uh, the bond between the ghosts and the world will be severed for good. Do I do that the back in the house? Finds with the... his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Right. Okay. Just bash this. What is this? <laughs> ah, okay. I thought it was like gold. I mean, I guess that's the goof. What the dinkus? We good? Well, the good news is I have so much pyrite. This is a down. Uh, interesting. A down to what exactly? More pyrite? Hell yeah. Anything else of value? Nope, just that one little pyrite. Another glow? Man alive. I'm here for this. And then back to the cemetery over there. Was there anything else of value? 
The rat's still ratting. If I go this way. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? I was about to ask, what happened in 1677? All right, so that's blocked off as well. So we're 100% just going back to the grave. I was thinking maybe grab the wife, but that's probably not a thing. That, <laughs> that little twinkle, you know in Dead Space, Whenever a thing would pop up and someone want to talk to you, that gives me the exact same jump scare. This, the <laughs> I'm just like, every time. I'm like, mm -mm, something's about to happen. All right. Make manifest? Using, uh, or knowledge, the tie that binds the ghost, the okay, is generally necessary. Right, so I would do this. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Why are you, why are you threatening this ghost man? Just have a nice conversation. Anarchy, I knew it. Oh? Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Until... here... at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Yeah, hold on. Tab on Charles. Oh, that's neat. We actually get to see his ghostly form here. That's interesting. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Antea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. 
I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Hmm. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. Someone working with if the you ghost! Find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seems amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. Yeah? My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. <laughs> no, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. That's my why he's staying around. Too. Okay. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, mm, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your I can't wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose ourselves. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves.
Charles Davenport. You have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. Okay, so he chose to leave. Home. That's the difference. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Every time anyone says Charles in this game, all I can think about is X-Men. That's all I can think about. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. But first, we quickly jog up to the house. Get out of my head, Charles! Charles, no! Just can't stop thinking about it. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Good night, my dear. Hmm. We know I had to check. So my question is, so in this scenario, for this for this little misadventure, ignoring the map for a minute, we did all the things, right? We intent obtained, intent obtained. I'm assuming because this is case number one, it, it's just all going to come to us. But maybe later, it's going to depend on how much we discover, whether we can be like, hey, get the hell out of here. Or it's like, get banished, bitch. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Time is it? Are people still out doing their thing. Oh. Hello? You know what? I'm just gonna say it. From this angle, I thought that man was wearing a baseball cap. I was just like, yes. You? Are you just? Oh, do you have bad dreams, Hugh? Oh, I can ask them all? Bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor. You don't want to hear about those. I would love to. Try me. In my sleep, chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman 
screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Uh huh. That that. Mm, mm, mm. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Obviously. I mean, clearly. I didn't think about going to go Farewell, talk to the other Mr. folks Bachelor, in town. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. Salvation. Uh, really quickly. There he is. I was like, which house this is? What now? Thick skin fears you may give up. Will you? I do not give up. But think on this. If the curse is God's punishment, should we not surrender? <laughs> Thick skin's view is enviably simple. Tell me about Thick skin. I wish my men had half her temper. They'd be warriors and survivors all. Do you fear God's punishment? Don't you? Okay. I hear the curse brings bad dreams. Do you have nightmares, sir? My sleep is mine to mind, as is my humor when I wake. On both businesses, I suggest you occupy yourself with your own. Okay. What can you tell me about the meeting house? Davenport closed it. You sound surprised. I am not. Do not go to the meeting house. Don't. And should I be in some way unclear, do not go to the meeting house. Right. So we're definitely going to go to the meeting house at some point. I'll come back later. I'll be here until I'm not. Do you think they all dreamed of us in the meeting house? That'd be trippy. You again. I hear some folk have been having nightmares. Are you amongst them? Not I. I'm not one to be on to buy ghosts or what have you. I sleep silent and sound and have no dreams at all. Anyone who says different is a liar. Interesting. Can I ask you about the meeting house? I never went there much. Davenport had ribbed me for it, but I'm not one for sitting. We'll stay away from the meeting house now. I suggest you do the same. Do you think she's immune because she never was at the meeting house? And the meeting house is, I don't know. Or she's just lying because she's trying to be tougher than she actually is. Well then, thank you for your help. Aye. Sir? Governor? How may I be of service to you? Did you disagree with the Reverend's approach to the curse? I did. But what of it? I'm not a banisher. I'm a man of God. Mm, yeah, Charles was a man of God. Charles Davenport was a man of God. One of the finest. I wholeheartedly agree. I particularly admired his ability to integrate the many visions of the world, no matter how antagonistic they may be to our own. Hmm. Do you have bad dreams, Governor? Yes. We spoke of that, Charles and I. 
your conclusions? I am convinced that an unidentified evil doer has summoned a demon and inflicted it upon the people of New Eden. According to Henry Boggett, in his discourse, execrable de sorciers, certain demons can provoke insomnia or bad dreams. Alu, for instance. The minister, contrarily, believed we were facing a ghost. He convinced us to hire you. I desperately hoped that he was right, and I was wrong. Ooh, but what if it is a demon? How unprepared are we for that? Have you dreamed of the meeting house? No. Wait. Now that you mention it, I do not dream of it, but lately it dominates my thoughts in a way not pertinent to its importance. As if there I had some business, unknown, unknowable, and most of all, unfinished. Interesting. I'll go now. I'll still be here if you need me. Interesting. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's one more lady. Like, down and around the corner, she might have something interesting to say? I don't know. She's over here? This guy's just gonna be like, get out of the way, my hat's big and uh, my ego's bigger. Nope. <laughs> Back off on that guy. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte. Did I miss her? Name. May I ask yours? Duarte. Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Oh. I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Bas Bathsheba Ingersoll? Damn, these is some 17th century names. I am... Here for Bathsheba. Ain't nobody named Bathsheba alive today. I gotta look this up. How many people named Bathsheba are alive? Can I look that up? Bathsheba are alive. I imagine some. According to this, there are. And it is, at least in America, point. 0.11 people named Bathsheba for every 100,000 Americans. Famous people named Bathsheba. Well, the la the most famous was a person named Bathsheba from 1822. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that's, I mean, that's a thing. Uh, I see someone, Bathsheba Grossman, January 1st, 1966. On this, the fame indicator says that she's a one out of 100, so that's not very famous. In fact, most of these are from 1671, 1746, yeah, yeah, not a lot of Bathsheba's. Still a biblical name, though. Still a very David-centric biblical name. Like Jesse is. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling, only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? 
That's pretty messed up, lady. Uh, about your store. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply at the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. <laughs> and that makes me a fool. Uh, this is a great character. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? What happened to my, uh... Irish lady? Where'd she go? Is this her? Yes? A moment more of your time, if you don't mind. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. Okay. Have you been to the meeting house recently? Minister Davenport closed it. No matter. God needs no other house than his servants' hearts. I'll say no more, for there is no more to say. Well, I'm so glad I searched you out. Actually, yeah, I got the other lady, and that's pretty cool. thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. <laughs> thank the Lord for that. Uh, let me go over here really quickly, and we'll check and see this dude's vibe. He's the last full-ass conversation person, right? Unless he jumped aboard this boat real quick. No, he's here. Hey, dude. How may I help you, madam? Some say the curse has its roots in the meeting house. Thoughts? Strange. As you mention it, I know it's true. As I've always known it's true. Having expended much energy driving his flock to service, the Minister Davenport faced about and beseeched us to stay away. I've forgotten that. If I may offer an opinion, Mistress Duarte, I suggest you follow Davenport's more recent advice. If Charles said to stay away from the meeting house, then that's where I must go. Yeah, no, we all knew that was gonna happen. Okay. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Mistress Duarte, I'll see you in New York City. I'm starting to get the vibe that whatever's about to happen tonight is going to be... I don't know that we're going to get, like, a tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'm starting to think that it's all going down the minute I walk in this door. Nice. As banishers, we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire, specialized and sensitive crafters who train hard to protect the livings through our ritual. The livings. Protect the livings from the deadings and the ghostings through our rituals and knowledge about ghost inspectors. Not ghouls, though. We are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. Whatever the reason, we are efficient, adaptive, and versatile. Our community is sparse and nomadic, just like our uh, predecessors. Why was I about to say preceders? Predecessors. 
We wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing haunting cases using techniques tried and trusted and honed by generations of masters and pupils, releasing or banishing the ghost, barely blaming the living. Rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, <laughs> unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt, barrel, and stock engraved with runes and other symbols of power for hunting specters or otherwise. Who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our Bane Powder, prepared according to recipes handed down from generation to generation, rendering each firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target. No matter what the ammunition, we're definitely getting guns at some point. Bing bong. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Our knowledge of alchemy and botany helps us selecting minerals and plants whose properties will support our work. We do not waste time in libraries or schoolrooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, or engraving complex circles of power because what uh, we gain in power or nuance, we, lo we lose twice as much more or more in time, risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Instead, a clever banisher carries stamps in wood or metal really, which, uh, with which to mark a door, wall, or stone with the necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. We also wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols, so we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, as it were. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Thus we prevail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From Death to the Dead by Balthazar H. Frenhofer. Balthazar Frenhofer is definitely the name of a dude who kills ghosts. If there's a man alive today named Balthazar Frenhofer, that guy's killing ghosts. That's just a fact. He is. I thought that was the background music, and I was like, oh, my, my husband's playing a little twang thing. And he is. He's playing it. He's twanging. Nothing else except to sit, huh? All right. <laughs> bling, bling, bling. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same, right? Charles would have done the same. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. Hmm. I feel like she would definitely say this. The dead have no business with the living. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies by the fast. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't. Eh? And then I kill you again. Um 
feel like she would say I'd do anything for you. Although she'd also say this and then I'd kill you again. She's playful. She'll do it. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. And nightmares. <sighs> Poor Charles. Poor Esther. For Esther. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And Taya, she took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. Okay, and now I'm him. Interesting. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? <laughs> this better be part of the dream. They did not just be like full moon, ghost specter vision. This entire town is probably totally messed up. All right, here we go. I'm expecting full ghosts. Who's there? Antea? Why would you go up there alone? Why indeed. Hello, rats. Oh, also, can I get back in here now? I guess I always could, huh? All right. I'm open. It's here. What's the map situation? All roads lead to the meeting house, eh? Hello, ghoul. Oh, what the heck? Do I not have... I don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? I realized I was pressing the wrong button. This is block. <laughs> For some reason... You know what? Maybe I'll just... Maybe I should change that mouse button. For some reason, I always end up pressing the... Uh, the target button instead of the block button and uh, you know it happens it happens to the best of us but mostly me the boss could have included me I'm hoping there's something underneath one of these piles there have been in the past So do I have any type of, like, healing situation? Uh, I got a few things here. I'll look. Well, you know, what would I not look? I can hear the bells ringing in the background, which probably isn't great. Alpha wanker, let's do this thing, you son of a bitch. Come on. Oh, 
I could have banished him. I... Mushrooms. That's nice. I don't like this whole, I had a dream that the two of you were at the meeting house and shit went, all right. Didn't say specifically the two of us. It could have been any two people speaking gibberish. But I have a feeling it's us. And... the outside like this way oh, I don't like this at all all right that will let me open it you know what the most infuriating thing is that she's not finishing it <laughs> she won't get to the next part of the song over here huh okay let's do this uh oh is this a climb situation or a break situation oh no it's pretty yellow three blind mice see how they run see how they has to be a dream, right? All blind. Oh, Red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. Matea, you hot? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Yeah? 
Oh boy, okay. Well, here we go. It's the boss. Betrayal. I believe you failed. Again. We want to help. Ooh. Okay, so that's my uh Oh! Did that do a lot to her? Lady? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Die! Come on, man! Phases. Okay, I have a little oompty. I didn't know that. I didn't know I had an oompty. Oh, Jesus. Happy Christmas. He banished this shit. Okay, well, this is a whole other thing that I was... Oh, what? Oh. oh, I got nothing. Oh, I got nothing. Oh, I got nothing. Oh, I got nothing. Or right, maybe I wasn't supposed to do great on that. Where's Anthea? If you laid a finger on her. You what? Come to her aid? Oh, there is no aid. There is oh, only. Oh, retribution. Give him back. Yo! How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. to her aid now when all is lost. <laughs> if you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Holy shit! <laughs> That's the title screen! Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go.
Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. This is the we... third person from the screen? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Okay, time out. Only in the last 10 or so minutes did I remember watching a trailer for this at like an E3 or something. And the premise for the trailer was like, what if there's two cool banishers, but one of them's dead and the other one is like, only now do I remember that. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was the whole point of this game. Here's the thing. I love the setup that she's like, look, we have a job to do. We got to let go. We got to banish the ghosts. And the whole point from here on out is this man's going to be like, I can't do it to my love. I can't do it. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Feed me. Feed my emotional vampirism. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so ready for this. I have no idea what's about to happen, but I know that's the premise of the game, is that they were like, she's a ghost, he's a guy. So that was all set up for the trailer for the game. Gotcha. Big fan. I love they established that she is like, look, murder these ghosts. And this is a man who's like, you're my beloved. I cannot do it. Uh, ready. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Hmm. Who is she? Ceridian. This little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Ceridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular. And while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. Interesting. Interesting. Did not expect this. I did have the vibe of, like, good guy witches. You know what I mean? But I'm curious about... I, I don't know. I have no idea where this is going. This nightmare. How it spoke. How it tore right through. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. Easier said, harder done. This isn't what I wanted. What if we say that? This isn't what I want. 
Not like... Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Damn! The thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... Or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Interesting. And now here we are. And I have experience. Okay, welcome to the actual game. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a hell of an introduction. Wow. I, mean, I guess I'll loot all the stuff there is to loot. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Some sort of portal system? We're going to get like a gateway? I got a book. Exorizion, an exorcism from the old Greek root elemo <laughs> to the Latin exulo to the Frankish bomb down. Yep. The wandering exiler, the banisher. In ancient Greece, uh, was there the metagrites, metagirts, metagirts. A cult of wandering beggar priests. From place to place went they, singing songs and banging drums that the spirits of the dead be calmed. For, uh, or set free. Or exiled. This they did in honor of the long dead Thracian magician Orpheus. He whose love for Eurydice, that's the word was so powerful that he followed her through the land of the dead and into the abyss, won her freedom, and near brought her back. As the world grew, so too did the knowledge of the sons and daughters of Orpheus. But some did not embrace the new wisdom. They learned not and remained forever beggar priests. Through shapes and patterns seen and unheard from antiquity to modern times, these wanderers use hidden laws of the universe to open the gates and send the spirits of the dead away. To serve the living, the banishers destroy the dead. But they know little. They have forgotten their parentage. They have lost touch with we who see the colors and shades of all the light and all the dark the good and bad in everything, living and dead. The banishers have their uses, yes, as a hammer has its use when driven a nail must be. 
But the hammer does not care about the plank or the nail, nor does it understand it is made of the same wood and iron. The banishers know nothing of the hem, for they are not and might never be one of us. Interesting. They do not stand between the world of women and men and everlasting darkness. They do not minister to the dead so that the living may live. They do not know, for they are not witches. They are yet the children of Orpheus, and they do not look back. Ah, lessons learned. That's the Orpheus tale. There we go. Ding dong. That's very cute. This is what I want to look at. What the hell is this thing? Also, where are we, where are we at right now? Hey, map? Yeah? Right, so I don't know where I'm at at all, period. Gotcha. Okay, interesting. What is this? Just like a cool torch. Where am I? Great question. There's something over there that looks like a windmill, perhaps? I don't. I don't know. Find my way is literally the mission. Shipwreck, I guess. I'm not going to attempt to go in the water. Unless I can, in which case... Hold on, can I? Beep, 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 beep. No, he's not stupid. You get your socks wet. Oh, I can slide? Interesting. All right. And I also learned I can do this. I bet this would be infinitely easier on the controller. <laughs> starting, to, starting to think maybe... I should plug in a controller, because this... All right, for the record, targeting is middle mouse button. Blocking is forward mouse button. Dodging is space bar. Running is shift. I got a lot of... My brain don't work too good. So when I go to block, I'm pressing middle mouse button. And that's, that's actually targeting enemies. So I probably would rebind those. So she threw my ass into the ocean and I got spit out over here. But ironically, there appears to be plenty of, uh, I don't know. Also, one of the things that's getting me every time is I'm used to hitting these and pressing space bar to jump them, but it's E. Not spacebar. But I bet if I was on a controller, that would be a whole different scenario. Speaking of... How do I do this? Hello? What is... What these? What these? These thing here. Do I? That clearly has a purpose. Oh, pie right. Oh. But I can't get to it. I don't appear to have a ranged ability. Yeah, I can't get in the water. I bet there's some sort of uh, ranged weapon I'll get. They didn't mention guns, so I would assume I'll get a gun here in a minute. Or something similar. Dark. Damn it. What am I doing here? Do you hear that? Was that a voice? No, sir, I don't like it. Also, there's an area here. Can I get up here? No. 
I'll take the leather. I'm no fool. Oh, yeah, there's like a cave or something over there. All right, well, hold on. This is a... It says up, but I see no up. It's definitely a down situation. All right, let's go over here. This is where I popped out of, right? And what was that? I swear I heard, like, talking. That could be wrong. But no one to be wrong before. Also, that is definitely a thing. But there's no yellow, so I'm assuming I can't get to it. Even though it certainly says up down on the map. Seems like a big gro- oh, What the hell is another that? Time. What the hell are you? <laughs> Threat indicator. No, I noticed. Leave me oh, I was I'll aware. I saw that. Ghost. Yo, these ghosts are. They got magic powers. What in the hell am I doing? Killing undead dogs or some shit. Time to level up. Baskerville hounds. Um, question. Right. Not yet, kids. Not yet. But one day I shall level, and when I shall, it'll be a great victory for all. So I can't go that way, but I can go up. Very dead man. All right, into the cave I go. Am I the last bloody living soul here? No, 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 no. It's almost as if my soul has gone dark. Some sort of dark soul. That's how we be climbing. I'm definitely going back to that area back there. It's going to be one of those, if you for... Oh, for the love of Pete. Alpha wolves. Get smoked.
We good? <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is no. God. What is happening? What? Antea? Yeah. <laughs> Level three? You know, I may have lost my wife. But I gained three three levels in life. Alright, so that's that way. And that's that way. But this is this way. Can I go waterfall secrets? No. Yeah, this is an interesting question. Um, We got uh, this way to go up, or we could go that way. Alright, alright. So this way is... The loot way, I'm assuming. Huh? These wispy little bastards. Anyone else? Oh, ghost coming out the woodwork. Anyone want this? I can just wildly swing for days. Getting experience, freeing those ghosts, saving those ghosts. Like that, it's a little too oh, oh, sorry. demon so sorry. sounding. A little too demony sounding for me, for my tastes. I'm here. Lead me to you. Oh, at the old mystical games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I would be if I was. Oh shit. Hey, man. Whoa! Whoa, that go- Yo, come on! All right, well. Spectres. Here. Spectres. Are you there? Girl, you in the waterfall? Oh my god, she's in every waterfall. Son of a bitch.
No! I have you. You have me. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Damn! Where are you going? Over here. Sorry, there was, there was loot I'm over there, here. baby! Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Where have you gone? Antea! Oh, another one of these markers? What purpose do you serve? Map. Whoa! Map? Who needs a map? No maps here. When you're in the cave, you get nothing. You seem weak. You need... I feel hollow. Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. How is this going to work? What can I do? Charles's Bible. The tie that bound his ghost. remains upon it. For now, it will do me. Right, the one thing we were like, do not do. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are we sure about that? Also, is that going to give you the background to the scar? Because that would be awesome. Um... How are you feeling? Mm, that's weird. Are you still hungry? Are you still hungry? How are you feeling? Is like, I'm, I'm dead. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. 
much more. Is that smart? We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember? What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing, but After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Seeker. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. We should go back to New Eden Town. I mean, God, he would want to do that. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. I'm pretty sure he realizes you can't bring any of these people back, right? Like, that's... But... He could help Ascent, right? Could I give you your Ascent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Oh, I guess I can ask this. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me. And I'd bring you back. Red. It's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Ooh. Murder. Okay. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. Hmm. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. And this is how I level up. Also, uh, remember, this is a don't nod game, so I'm absolutely convinced there's going to be a, like, welcome to crazy choices. Here's a crazy choice. Oh, this is another choice. Maybe you enough murder and you'll bring her back. You know, mm, mm, okay, I, mm. What are my vibes here? Tag team. The punch attack that ignores, re ignores resistance. Interesting. Maximum, all right, I definitely need that for sure. Oh, if I banish an enemy, my next heavy attack is increased. I gotta remember to use heavy attacks. Each enemy hit by a light attack increases the damage of light attacks by 10%. Understood. Okay, so... 
It it's a cumulative effect. Okay, well, I assume it's gonna be Bing. Who was this? Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15%, the higher the health points gauge. So the more life I have. Also, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, my wife jumps out of me and jump kicks a dude? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that's awesome. Yo, that's cool as shit. Switch right in front. Ah, uh, so there will be a switch mechanic at some point. Switch to Antea right after a front dodge to trigger melee attack. Costs 15 spirit points. That's a thing that will happen eventually that I will get to eventually. Right, okay. We can see the world from the other side of the veil, uncover ethereal elements such as spectral stains or webs. <gasps> Alright, well, you know what I really need is this. I'm no fool. Alright. Interesting. Powder keg. Charged heavy attacks trigger an area of effect. That's a wiener. Banish points ga uh, gains are increased by 20%, but banish damage is reduced by 20%. Interesting. Are there going to be other things besides unveil at some? We're technically just starting. I have no clue. Yo, she zipped over. Zip. Ghost powers. Oh, wow. That's probably very hard for her. Upgrade your equipment. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Evolution. Salt so modify your talents. Fast travel between accessible shelters. Inventory. Upgrades available. Rest. Rest. Make time move forward. I have charges. Oh, my sweet sassy molassy. So this is going to be this again. Inventory is going to be yes. Upgrade your equipment. Upgrading your equipment improves their bonuses but requires resources. Remember, F those resources. So what these, uh, what these? Upgrade available. Upgrade available. Upgrade available. Is it because I bought that stuff from that dude? Also, hold up. Nope, that's just my inventory. Okay. What's the vibe here? Upgrades. Uh, physical resistance, huh? Rudimentary. What's the... Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm I'm common? No, I'm not enhanced, though. Story of my life. You're not enhanced at all. I need one scourge accretion. That sounds correct. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, can I get this? This is important to me. F, that upgrade. Oh, yeah. Ding dong. Nice. All right, in order to do that, I need translucent fiber. Yup, yup, as one would do. Oh, and because it's her ring, she's the... Uh, well, 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 look who the loot master is. And then I need more accretions. And hellebore. Green hellebore. I, you know what? I love this screen. I love this screen. I love the way they switch. That's very cool. And I love the way it goes, pew, like that. That's cool as shit. Okay. I dig that. 